Personal story segment tonight. I have to admit I am deeply confused about why President Obama would inject himself into the mosque ground zero controversy. It's a no-win situation, as we stated. But there must be a reason. Charles said it was, you know, conciliatory, trying to bring people together. Uh, maybe. Joining us now from Los Angeles, Leslie Marshall, in for Juan Williams tonight. And from Nashville, Tennessee, Mary Catherine Hamm, both of Fox News analysts. Look, um... I, I don't doubt uh, Charles Krautheimer's uh, hypothesis that the president sees himself as this great healer and, and, and bringing people. That's what he wants to do. But surely he knows that he's stabbing himself in the hand every two weeks by taking issues that are unbelievably emotional, especially here in New York City, New Jersey area, Connecticut. All right. And basically said, well, I'm not going to comment on the wisdom. When you say that in your mind, you, you have to know, I'm going to get murdered for that comment. I, I, I'm not going to get away with that. The press isn't going to let me get away. I mean, the, the honest press is not going to let me get away with it. So why does he say it? Why doesn't he just comment on the wisdom of it? Why not? Well, one, one would think that, uh, that he would understand that. As My rule of thumb is that as soon as the president says, let me be clear, we're usually going to get confused. Um, that's what happened here. He does have a tendency to occasionally clod hop into these very serious, sensitive subjects. You've got the charade thing with the administration being sloppy on that. You've got the Skip Gates thing, and you've got this, where he kind of jumps in with big pronouncements or big actions, or the administration does, and then goes, whoa, this is actually a big deal. Maybe we should uh, step What's back. What's the Skip I think Gates he has thing? A little bit too the Skip Gates? Gates thing? What was that? The the Skip Gates when he came out speaking about how the Cambridge police acted stupidly without oh, looking into okay, the facts yeah, of right, that right, racially okay, charged okay, police okay. case last year. So right, this but, is but, a but tendency of fair, his in the administration. Anybody can make a mistake about things right. like that. And and um, but it, there's a pattern of behavior, Leslie. You see it in the Cairo speech. Apologizes for the United States' excesses in the Middle East. All right. Then you see it in the uh, bomber on Christmas Day. He's not really a terrorist. And then the, the lukewarm thing in Fort Hood. And now he comes out and says, well, you know, I'm not going to comment on the appropriateness of the mosque. When fair-minded people go, look, you're the president. We'd like to know your opinion. We have strong opinions. What's the matter with you? What do you think, Leslie? Well, maybe his opinion wouldn't be what uh, yours is, Bill, or well, the majority I, I, I of respect him more, that would though, be more it, divisive. Listen, <laughs> look, then he should say that. Then he could say, I think it is appropriate. But can you imagine, can you imagine if the President of the United States thinks it's appropriate to build a mosque to, a block away from 9-11, Leslie? Can you imagine how the people who lost loved ones are going to feel about that? He'd have to explain that. He'd have to explain that right down to the nub. Is the per president's personal opinion what matters when he is the head of this country? Or is it uniting? And is it being obligated to follow the very foundation of what this country was built on in the First Amendment and the freedom of religion as he addressed and have both. addressed? <laughs> he can do both. It's I not don't agree. walking and chewing gum. I, I, do, I, I, do, I, I don't agree because th this is an emotional Topic so he dodges the, the emotion. The he dodges the emotion and states the obvious when the he emotion is driving the story. Emotion. He's getting hammered, Leslie. He's not going to get away with it. In public opinion, a poll but is going to take another dive. But this is not him being a politician, Bill. In my opinion, this is, a, this is a man before being senator who practiced constitutional law for 10 years. This is a mountain he's willing to die on. This is not about politics. Yeah. And the American people should be happy <laughs> about that because the polls show the sick of politics. I don't know why you would want to die on that mountain, Leslie. I mean, that's a dumb mountain to <laughs> die on, in my opinion. It's not appropriate. Not if it's his principle. Not if the Constitution there isn't, thinks there, something there isn't holds any dear principle and the foundation involved. of this uh, there of There is this no. Nation. There's no foundation. There's no Constitution. There's no principle involved. It's... This is really inappropriate. It's not illegal. It's inappropriate. It would be better for you guys to move it six blocks away. There's nothing unconstitutional. That's what I was going to ask you, Bill. About Listen, Bill, Bill. I was going to ask you, well, how many he, blocks he away is appropriate? He could look. Leslie, just get it out of eye line, okay? Out of eye line. Go ahead, Mary Catherine. Look, if it's a, if it's a matter of principle, he only stood on the principle for 12 hours until people started getting mad, and then he first he frames it as a freedom of religion issue, which the opponents of the mosque say, no, that's it. That's not it. We're talking about. Uh, an appropriateness issue. And then the next day he says, well, th actually, there is a wisdom of, of locating it there issue as opposed to the freedom of religion. So I think he's being the consummate politician I here. Think, I would have I, respected I him more no, if he'd, I think he, if I think he'd the stuck whole with the first idea, then I think that this. would have been more brave. Uh, Bernie's going to come up and give us the media thing. I think the White House is desperately out of touch with the folks. I, I, I think that's the bottom line here. We see it time and time and time again. I think he just didn't think this again. through either. I'd agree with that. I don't, I don't think that the White House, whether it's the president or his advisors or anything, has any idea 
what working class America thinks, believes, and feels on any level at all. They are so far away from them. And I'll give you 20 seconds, uh, Mary Catherine, and Leslie, you can end it with 20 seconds. Go. Mary Look, Catherine. I, I just think that... <laughs> He uh, he clearly didn't think this through. I do think he sees himself as a guy who can sort of magically talk and and impart healing upon all of us. In this case, it's a really sensitive issue. I don't think he dealt with it very well. He framed it as one thing on one day, and the next day he backtracks and says, oh, this is a matter of all the right. wisdom of placing it somewhere, and I'm just not going to comment on it. He's taking two positions, and that's Le not that's Leslie, not you uh, wrap it up for us. Uh, this is, is not to me flip-flopping. This is reiterating and clarifying what he was saying, that he is a president of the United, not divided States of America, and he's not just a president to everyone but Muslims, but to Muslims inclusive, and that he loves Nobody the Constitution, as do I. All right. I don't know if it's the United anymore, Leslie. I think when he goes down into the 30th I'm with you, rating. Bill. I think that's going to be our downfall. Right. I do think it's a fall. Plenty more ahead as a factor moves along this evening. Dan Rather talking.